talking to Simon Ridio, the head coach of the Hofstra Women's Soccer Program. And coach, the team came back to campus a couple of days ago, getting into the swing of things with training camp. Just how excited are you for the 2013 season? Yeah, it's, it's always an exciting time this time of year. Uh, new, new players, new systems, new things going on. Um, we're particularly more excited this year because we've, we've got the majority of our team returning. So we can almost build on more things than we usually do this time of year. So it's a pretty good time to be uh, the coach at Hofstra. And there's a lot of continuity. 10 of 11 starters return from a team that won the championship last year. And as a coach, just how um, good is that familiarity with so many uh, key players coming back? Yeah, like I just mentioned, we, we can almost work on more advanced stuff, uh, better movement, uh, you know, the basics they already know. And now it's just uh, gearing them and putting them together with the incoming freshmen and uh, finding a way where, where our best best starting 11 can uh, improve and move move towards another goal. And the top 10 scorers from last season all return, leading the way is Leah Galton. And just talk about uh, the firepower that you have, not just with her, but with players like Jill Mulholland and Sam Scolarici, and uh, definitely a lot of offensive weapons uh, to choose from. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's probably going to be our strength this year. Uh, we've got depth in numbers in midfield and in the forward uh, ranks. Obviously, we've got some really special players as well. I don't like to isolate or uh, bring those to the forefront. You know, we've got probably 12 players who can play those those midfield and forward roles and, and do it very effectively at the level we require. So from that perspective, we, we're very excited about the offensive output we can maybe uh, contribute this year. And can you talk about some of the new players and what you think their roles could be? Well, we've got some uh, specialist players coming in. And I think they'll uh, they'll challenge certain individuals to get better. And if that happens, and uh, you know, they either start or, or contribute to the person who is starting, then I think we're going to be in a very good position come November. Must be a good sign for the freshmen. They can look at last year's team and see um, right away how so many freshmen and sophomores were able to play their way into key roles and became starters. Yeah, uh, it's always been my philosophy. We we have to play the best eleven. Uh, regardless of class, seniors or freshmen and uh, you know sometimes people don't like to hear that but it's my job on the line and we've got to we've got to create wins so I've got to me and my staff we've got to put to be, together the best 11 players and if that means all freshmen then that's so be it. Uh, we're fortunate we've got a lot of juniors and sophomores this year starting this year who have, who have got a lot of experience who well, hopefully will help carry this program forward for the next couple of years. You have three-day practices going on right now. What are your, uh, you and your staff looking for in particular with these early drills? It's, it's basically getting them back technically proficient again, uh, getting a nice uh, aerobic and then aerobic base uh, fitness-wise, and also start introducing new, new, uh, new ideologies, new philosophies on how we're going to play this year figuring out who's playing where, what to do, and then finding the best strategy for that group of 11 players. And um, you know, and, uh, and on top of that, we're just trying to team build, get everybody back together, um, getting the chemistry going, and hopefully that, that should be enough in the next couple of weeks to springboard the season. Hofstra was picked first in the preseason coaches poll. Uh, just talk about the respect uh, other coaches in the league have for you and what that ranking means. Me personally, the ranking doesn't mean much. It's pre-season and you, you, know, you don't get anything for winning a pre-season poll. However, it does, it does show, show the uh, rest of, you know, show what they respect the coaches have of our program and of the team that, that produced the wins from last year. So from one aspect, it's, it's, it's promising to have. Um, there's some fantastic teams in our conference and to be voted the pre-season favourite is a tremendous accolade. However, we don't get anything for winning this uh, pre-season poll. We, we actually want to be number one come November, and then we can start preparing for the NCAAs. That's more important than winning this poll. And speaking of uh, coaches, you have a new one to your staff, a new assistant coach and a former player, Courtney Breen. Just talk about how excited you are for her to be joining your staff. Yeah, uh, we were deeply saddened to see Brooke DeRosa leave. Uh, she's a tremendous kid. Uh, but in, in regards to this program, we, we always want to build from within 
and get a player from, a, from the past who has proven to be a tremendous student athlete for us. And Courtney fits that role. Uh, we had some fantastic candidates applying for the job. But unfortunately, uh, Courtney was the one who, who fit everything we need. She's going to be a stellar coach and I think she's got a really bright future. And she slotted in nicely to what we, we are doing and I think that's a great thing from, from her perspective. I think she's going to be a fantastic hire and I think she's going to do a really good job in the role she's playing. All right, Coach, thank you very much.